Hey buddy, welcome back. I'm the Strides Professor. A little Nami action here. Uh, we picked Nami with Vayne. I think I might start picking Nami a lot more with Vayne just because like you're going to lose the landing phase so hard that it seems like if you take other stuff, it's just super risky if you don't have a heal. You just kind of have to heal through and just wait till she gets Bork. And then historically, Nami's very good with Vayne anyways, because like your E, Vayne wants to run people down and kite them. And just like having that mobility is very helpful with her. So you can help her out early and you can help her chase and skirmish later. That's a pretty good combo. It's patch 819. Kind of had a bit of a rough week last week, but we've, been, we've gone on a pretty good old streak here. I think we've won six for our last seven. Five or last six, something like that. Welcome to so, we're Ring. getting back in there. Been as high as Platinum 1 this season. As high as D5 overall. Don't chase! What the... Dude, what? Flash, you clown! not see the other two people running like away who else got to kill Yasuo though and we're gonna be really far behind in this lane sure as the tides. your gold too uh where's Jackie Chan yeah I think you can do it I mean Really, if you just focus up and just put in, like, good games on the weekends, you know, if you just play, like, six really good games on the weekend, you can do it. I mean, if you're gold two to get to platinum, you just have to go, like, plus, um, let's see, probably, like, five, seven, twelve, like, maybe, like, plus fifteen games or so, like, fifteen with more wins than losses. You still have probably five or six weeks to do it. Okay, I think it's definitely doable. Dude, I'm level one, bro. I'm just gonna mute all. This is gonna be a rough one. Like, why is this guy playing Vayne? Like, why aren't you playing Raven? If that's like how you like to play, that's not how Vayne should play. <laughs> You're gonna lose almost every lane if you play in Vayne, so you need to be a very patient person. Unless they do something like ridiculously dumb, which they're not. They're just playing like average plat players. He's probably still in our jungle. He's probably like counter jungling golems or something right now. Has been slain. Ah. 
He might be typing, trying to tell me to get out of his lane or something, and I'm not going to do that. That one's really not pressuring that hard, though. Like, I got one more auto in when he turned around, maybe I could have done it, but it felt like it was so scary. Well, she's kind of holding even in farm. Like, we're only down two kills in theory. She will outscale Caitlyn. Um, Vlad's doing pretty well against Yasuo. Like, we could win. It would have been nice if I would have hit that bubble against the uh, Zen there. I don't know how I missed it. I guess I thought that... I don't know. Zen just juked it. And of course, she didn't take Doran's shield against uh, Caitlyn. We're probably going to get camped by this Zen, so we need to be careful because they know that like this Vayne's having some problems. I need to go ward, but I can't get the priority. I really need to hit six. Okay, Zen's top. The reason I'm not going up, like, in theory, you should go up and harass a lot more Nami, but we've been, like, at such a disadvantage the whole time that it's, you just can't. I'm just trying, like, not to die pretty much at this point after the first three deaths. My vein.
I mean, yeah, they're just basically, like, freezing when they should be pushing, so. We're really lucky that Kate one is not, like, capitalizing on the situation. Like, when Vayne dies four times and she's still even on CS, like, that's a big problem. Like, Caitlyn should be crushing this Vayne. So, we've kind of got that going for us. And they're just, like, freezing. So, like, Lux doesn't have any wards in the river, which is going to... Oh, God. Probably a good try. I think that Zen just, it was just unlucky. Zen just happened to walk right there at that moment. I really don't think they have that warded. Lux doesn't have her uh, upgraded wards yet. Wow, they have two? When did they get the first one? I guess when they killed us really early on. I can't even remember when they got that first one. Okay. Why does Vayne keep backing? I hope she, I hope she gets Borg here. We should have pushed this all the way in. So like, it's totally possible we could still come back and win this. Okay. And that's right, Rick. No free wins anymore, buddy. Gets a lot harder at platinum. And it does at gold. You gotta win 66% of those promo games instead of just 50%. Now Caitlyn's starting to push. She could have had this tower like five minutes ago if she actually just played the lane correctly and pushed. Can't step on traps against Caitlyn Lux.
think we'll go for uh, Athenes here, just so we have enough mana to kind of run around and make plays on the map. I don't know what he's doing. Like, he back to get a dagger. I could have healed him through it. Now he's just running the mid lane. I guess he's probably just, like, yelling at me so much that he's just, like, I'm not even gonna try anymore or something. I don't... I don't know what the thought process is there. die too. Okay, we basically got almost an ace there. Oh god. I'm gonna have to back to deal with that though. Maiden plus that thing. That's gonna be gross. Okay, skirmish comp, but it's just like we don't have a lot of siege, so we're wave clear, so we gotta be a little careful with that. Hey, thanks for the sub, I appreciate it. So obnoxious. 
They're gonna get this middle tower, but I gotta buy. Running out of mana. We are all tied to the ocean. Hey, thanks, Richie. Appreciate the sub. God, they're gonna get three towers. It's like, we're up in kills, and they're up, like, five towers now. Wait, how does he already have another Maiden? There was already one top lane. What is this? I just saw the Maiden middle. Or does it just... It doesn't follow him, right? I thought it stays in one specific lane. Well, I exhausted him, but he <laughs> evaporated immediately. Their macro, like... Can you use Maiden on Baron? I'm really not even sure how that... I thought it just, like, AFK pushed a lane. And you couldn't really control it once you put it in a lane. I guess you can take it around with you. I mean, if you can take it around with you, why don't people jungle with it more? There's gotta be something to that. Like, it'll only attack Baron and Dragon or something. I don't know. Too far in there. contest this. Nah, I just... I think we have to give it. Such a hot pile of garbage, dude. <laughs> I mean, we should have even fought that. I don't think. Like, we didn't have really good vision. Vayne's one and seven. I mean, Kha'Zix got poked out really early. He just used Flash. What's up, Sammy?
Alright, well, she finally got Ruin plus Gensu, so now hopefully she can do some damage. Did get a tower, so that's good. I mean, that's sort of what Athenes is trying to get people to do with the damage people get healing. But yeah, there's just not a champ that... I, I would like to see a rune that does something like that, where there's like a certain percentage conversion like in the utility tree of like damage that you do that heals people around you or something like that. It'd be hard to do without breaking it, but you could say something like your damage is reduced by 10%, but also heals allies around you for 20% of damage dealt or something like that, right? Where you could basically turn someone into a support. I think that would be that would be a really cool idea. They don't like the min maxing stuff though. They like for everything to be like it's positive. But I think that would be cool if they had something that just basically like a keystone that reduce your damage, but turns your damage into healing for allies. Not for you, but just for allies. It's really dangerous to do that, though, because if something both does a lot of damage and heals, it's a problem. We can already see that with when stuff, you know, is very tanky and does a lot of damage, it's, uh, it's a problem. Yeah, we do need to get that. I don't have any vision. Zen's dead. Everybody's dead. We should be able to get it, I think. Kha'Zix is going hard, man. Now we can start getting Ardent. If you're wondering why I didn't get Ardent earlier... Sure as the tide. Your team has just um... It's because Vayne was so far behind, and I just felt like having Athenes just gives you more mana regen, it's better for skirmishing, it's better scaling. Um, it just gives you more damage and more healing later on, whereas, like, Ardent is good, but only if, like, you have an auto-attacker that's going to, you know, do a lot of good, that's going to, like, make really good use of it.
Wait, why did he use his ghost blade? Holy crap. No, 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 no. Don't fight him, don't fight him. We should go all in at this inhibitor or not. I feel like no. Got a lot of them there. Yeah, this vein's hilarious. It's like, oops, I screwed up. Better rage and complain, spam surrender. When we can definitely win. We didn't get it, but if Volley would have been there, we would have gotten it, but we did get a couple of extra towers, which is nice. Winter, as in the vein. <laughs> I mean, I have screwed up this game, but I was walking through the veins reasoning there. Oops, I screwed up. I'm having a bad game. Might as well surrender. Hey, Kowski. Uh, I negotiated one extra day of streaming, so I'm going to leave tomorrow. is pretty far out of position. Vane's dead. More Kha'Zix is dead. I guess we're on the defensive because we don't have uh, we don't have the inhibitor. I mean, we have, like, 50% more kills than they do, but, like, our macro has just been so bad. There's always another way. Rose and Mallet Vane, eh? We haven't had everyone together for a while now. Yes, 
gonna be really bad. They have the position on this objective. We need to come in this way. We need to come in that way. Or if we, I mean, if we can get priority in this lane, it's gonna be hard to do because they still have supers, but. I don't have vision, but I don't have time to go back and get vision either. I'm gonna get caught out here, maybe. Can't we just end it? Ball of air. <laughs> we just going for two inhibs. I think we should go for the win here, but. I mean, he takes this so quickly. Yeah, we could have ended it. And we might still be able to do it. Yeah, because Kha'Zix does so much damage. Okay, we got it. Alright, well, that's going to be it. I'll post this sub. I think it's a good example of how you can win anyways, even when someone on your team's being super toxic. You know, if you just mute them, as long as they're not, like, running it down or something. And she wasn't doing that. She just was not playing very well at all, but she wasn't, like, intentionally throwing the game. Um, then you can still come back and win. So if you want to watch more NAMI games, be sure to check out the playlist in the description. Uh, I'll have that down there for you. Come by, check out the stream sometime. It's a lot of fun. It's around 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And, um, and yeah, don't forget, if you like this content, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.